Hi, and welcome to this Excel tutorial where I'm going to show you a great little trick for keeping buttons hidden until certain criteria has been met. In this case, we must verify the line items using a checkbox, and then the send bill button will appear and we can click it and send out the custom bill. This is a great little feature that's going to combine two things, the new checkbox feature and a tiny bit of VBA and of macros. I promise it's easy. Everybody can do this. A little bit of workbook automation is going to make your life so much easier. And if you want to learn how to automate your workbook even more than I'm going to show in this tutorial, make sure to check out our full Excel VBA course on teachexcel.com. It'll take you all the way from beginner to expert so that you can automate your workflow and save hours of time. I'll put a link to that course below this video and it's currently on sale. So give it a look. Here I've cleared the checkboxes and brought back the grid line so it looks a little bit familiar. This is just a formatted worksheet right here. Nothing special, just formatting. And what we're going to do is to input checkboxes. With the new versions of Excel, we can go to Insert and click Checkbox. If you don't see that, update your version of Excel and it should be there. It is going to put a checkbox in the cell that you have selected. And that will output in the cell in which the checkbox is located true or false. We can see false right now. If we click it again, then we see true. And we are going to use that value in that cell to control whether or not we want this button to appear. And the code we're going to use for that is so easy that you can change it for whatever situation you need. It doesn't even have to be with checkboxes. Now I'm going to go to 9, then E12, then E15, and add the checkboxes. And before we change any code, let's make sure we have a button and we have named that button. Here we are using a shape. So we go to insert, illustrations, shapes. It is currently off the screen, but at the very top, you're going to see rounded or rectangle. Then when you click that, you can draw your button. Once you have a button, go up here to the name box. You'll see this big, ugly name. We do not want that. Let's click in there and rename it to send underscore bill. And I'm going to put two here because we already have a send bill button. Enter. And now we have a name for this button. If you want to assign it to a macro to send an email, I talk about that in another tutorial. I'll link to it below this video. But you simply right click it, click assign macro, and attach your email macro to the button. And that's how we actually get it to send the bill. Once you learn VBA, you'll realize that you can do some really cool stuff without too much effort. And if you didn't name your button, like I forgot to here, we can simply click and then type send bill. And we can go up here, do a little bit of formatting. I'm not going to spend too much time covering that. Now we have our checkboxes. We know what cells they're in. And we have our button. Let's go to add the code. Simply go to the worksheet tab, right click, view code. Here we want to paste in the code. And remember, you don't have to type the code out. Simply download the file in this tutorial. I'll put a link to it below the video, and then you can get the code for free. In this code, the only thing that you have to change is a reference to the checkboxes. So 6, E9, 12, and 15. Then down here, the name that you gave your button, send bill and send bill. Now, what if you only have one checkbox? Well, we delete all of this and we leave the underscore. What if you have more than four? Let's back it up. Simply follow the pattern that you see here. So we can copy like this, remove that, paste it in, the underscore right there. The underscore allows you to continue your line of code on the very next line. And then and says, hey, check that checkbox and that one and that one and that one and that one. I'm not going to cover that in too much detail. It's a pretty easy thing to do once you learn how to use VBA. But for this, all you have to do is to now make sure that you update your cell reference. Then we can go back to the worksheet, hit Alt F11 or that button there and test it out. Notice it's gone because we only want it to appear when all of the checkboxes have been checked. And I think we actually added one that would go down here. So I am going to hit Alt F11 and remove this guy. 
because that was just to show you how to add a checkbox. Then Alt F11 again, back to the worksheet. Now we can uncheck and recheck, and there we go. And now you've made a much more useful worksheet that hopefully makes it more difficult for errors to crop up. And you can also use this for agreements. That's often where you will have something like a checkbox. Hey, do you agree to these terms? Yes or no. They hit the checkbox, then they can submit the form. And remember, if you want to learn more about automating your spreadsheet, making your life in Excel easier, then check out our full Excel VBA course on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to it below this video, and it is currently on sale, so give it a look. And that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. It's really going to help us out. That's all for this one. See you next time.